Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Baltimore. In this afternoon's session, transitional attacking from the counterattack. I'm Bill Holloman, president, past president of the NSCAA from Atlanta, Georgia. It's my privilege and pleasure to introduce you to one of the National Academy staff. Just got back from Florida, as a matter of fact, with 300 candidates in our coaching course in Florida just prior to the convention. It's from the Binghamton University, the head coach there, member of our national staff, Mr. Paul Marco. Please give him a hand. Thanks, Bill. Okay, thank you. Uh, what we'd like to do is we'll just let the guys start warming up. We'll give them a couple of minutes, so off you go. Off you go. Go on. We'll talk about you a little bit. What we're going to try and do uh, this, this afternoon, um, I watched a few sessions this morning, and I saw that the players wanted to play. So I thought I would try and do two things. One, I thought we, as coaches, will watch them play for about three or four minutes. And during that time, I want you to look at what you think they're doing very well and some areas that you think we can improve in. After about three or four minutes, I'll then t bring them back in, and then I'll start this session to try and teach them. Coaching is, uh, as we hear from Bill Bezik, is taking players somewhere new. I think coaching, true coaching, is when you give the player a little bit of information that helps them get there quicker than they would just on their own. So I've asked the guys to warm up. You can see that they've chose to just stand in a circle and pass the ball around. So guys, can you move around a little bit? You'll be playing shortly in about 30 seconds. So move around a little bit more, a little more movement in your group. We've uh, been moving around already, so they are pretty warm. The goalkeepers have already warmed up. We're ready to start the session. We're going to go right into playing, so then we can look at what's happening in the match, dissect it a little bit, and then start the session. You've got about 20 seconds left before we'll start with the ball. If you're wondering who some of these players are and why some of them look like giants, some of them are uh, college players, local colleges here, Towson and UMBC. Some of them are playing for the uh, Baltimore Bays Club. Okay, so I'll take that ball and just roll it back to the goalkeeper. Take that ball and roll it back to the goalkeeper, and we'll start with a ball in that goalkeeper's hands. Okay, so we're just going to watch them play for a little bit. Guys, we'd like you to take the shape up of a 2-3-1. So you'll have two at the back. Bump on right away. So the front runners, who was the front runner for yellow? Go on up front. Go on, Kevin. You can go up front. Okay, we'll play from the goalkeeper there. Play. So today we're going to talk about transition. We're going to talk about the moment that we've won the ball, what happens? In the game of soccer, there are four moments in the game. Right now, clearly, blue is in possession of the ball. They are attacking. Right now, blue's defending. So those are two clear moments in the game. And then the other two moments are the moment that we win it and the moment that we lose it. The other thing I want you to pay attention to is the, the, the chatter on the field. So the Blues are winning one nothing. Play. Look at the shape that the team chooses to play in. Is it long? Is it wide? Is it compact? You can see that some of the players are quite good technically. So hopefully we can help them get a little bit better in the next hour. You've got about a minute and a half left. Two more of you guys put on uh, two greens and two blues. Okay, stop there. 
Stop. It was very good from the goalkeeper. So put the ball back with the goalkeeper. So right now we should have a mental picture of what they looked like. Coaching the next hour, hopefully my session will impact how they're playing. And at the end when we let them play, we can then judge if the session was effective or not. So I wanted to show you a whole part whole. But now we're going to play a game for my warm-up activity when I get the, the uh, youth guys or the college guys. Maybe sometimes they come to the session, other things are on their minds. I want them to uh, start to have some fun right away. And I want them to try and hit my topic a little bit of what I want to cover today. So let's bring out those more players, two blues and two greens. And here's the game. So for the moment, we're going to play with our hands. And what I want the coaches to, to try and see when you're watching them is I want you to watch and listen. Okay? So we explain the game, right? You can play the ball with your hands. You can move the ball. Yeah. Play back here. So we're moving the ball down that way. Some of you have seen this game. I'm going to show you variations to get the topic of counterattacking. So how we get a goal is if I can throw the ball and we can keep moving it down, you'll just throw it into the goal. And that's a goal. Play. So very good. I'm going to let them try and sort the game out. That hit the ground. It's green ball. Play. So you can see that the shape that they take up right now is based on how they play. From this activity, I can get a team to play indirect and direct. Stop. Look at the shape that the team has chosen to play in. Stop. Stand still. You're allowed to throw the ball overhand. Th can you throw it to me? From there. So the ball can travel a great distance. If I want a team to play indirect, I just tell them to throw it with two hands. Can you throw it to him with two hands? Back up where you were. Back up where you were. Good. There. Can you throw it to him with two, ha two hands? Boy, that's pretty tough. That's not bad. But can you throw it to the goalkeeper with two hands? Mm, probably not. That's one hand. Okay, stop there. So that's how we're going to play the game. You're allowed to throw it any way you'd like. Play! Now some of you will see that my game has a major flaw in it. Ooh, good try. We've got another ball here with Bo. Okay, stop there. Here's the major flaw that the game has right now. Dribbling is also a way to penetrate. So here's what I'm going to let you do. I'm going to let you run with the ball. So, one, you have it. So Kevin has it. He's allowed to run with it. He'll run with it until someone touches him or he passes it off. If he touches you, touch him, then the ball must drop. Drop it of all of your hands. Don't roll it away. Don't cheat. And now blue is immediately going that way. Understand the game? Play. So now I'm going to allow them, like they would when they dribble, to run with it a little bit. Okay, so now we're getting an attack. Good, 1-0. So we're now going back. Get, stop. What should the Blues be doing right now? Just look what you did. You dropped off a little bit, and now you get ready to defend. He's going to start with the ball. Play. So in this little warm-up activity, do you hear anything? So we get a little excitement from a player, but not a lot of talking going on between the players. I'll tell you what, he does that with his feet as well. Balls away. Stop. Stop. Okay, so, Kevin, get back where you were. Stop means stop. Get back where you were. You were on the other shoulder about six yards from him. Stay there, Kevin. That's good. So, as this ball... T Stay there, Kevin. You're good. So, as the ball turns over, right away, as the ball was down here, could you have looked over your shoulder and found one of two players? And if I throw it to you, could you turn and look, and now it's... T no, no, you don't need to throw it to him. You just run at the goal. Okay, so we'll start from here. I'll take the ball. So right away, I'm trying to get them to look long first. See, I think that if we look... Okay, so there's a coach up there in the stands. His hair is challenged similar to mine. Can you wave to us? Yeah, right there. So can you see him? Can you see everybody underneath him? Now look at the blue player right there. 
Can you see the guy waving to us? No. So we want to teach our players to look long. Because if this is on the ground and the goalkeeper come out a little bit, maybe your first thought is, can I put it over his head into the back of the net? So we want to look long first and see underneath. So we'll put you in that situation. Come back here. You're going up where you were. The ball's going to you go. You keep running. The ball's behind you. Go to the ball. No, no. Look, you're going to go to the ball and look over your shoulder. Come back. Get ready to play. Playing live. I'll take it. You keep running. You come up here. Come up here. Come up here. Come up here. Play. Look long. Look long. That's better. Good try, Blues. Play on. Blues right away. Stop. Did you look long? for ca Yeah, right. Looks, should have looked for Beckman from here. Then we wouldn't have needed this one. It's a good ball. Play back here. See, he pulls himself away. Play here. Can you throw it to him? Play. Okay, 2-0. Okay, so stay there. We've got one more flaw in my game. When the ball hits the ground, we're not encouraged right now to throw it long. So throw it to me and let it bounce once. Throw it to me. So now the ball can bounce once, and then I can catch it. I can then run. I can throw it to you. If you go to catch it and it bounces, then it's their ball because you touched it. Understand? So I can throw it to bounce. Play. Ooh, great try. Good pass. No goal. Right away, blue ball. Stop, blue, play. Stop, yellow ball. Remember, the ball can't touch the ground after it touches you. Play, right away. Good try. Blues, come on. Did not look long first, did he? Great, good. Oh, now we're getting a game of transition. Can you see the moment we're looking for today? The moment we win it. Three, last ball, play. Still not a lot of talking going on. I might have to teach them what to say. Stop! Stop! It took us a while. I've been waiting for someone to say it. Did anybody hear what the goalkeeper said? What did he say? Drop in. So give the ball to the uh, green team and drop in. So the blues drop back, drop into your own half, and leave a couple players looking to go get a goal quickly. So you lot win the ball for us and play it to one of those two players right away. Play. So now we're starting to look at our shape of our team again a little bit more. And we've got some organization in the back that we'll need to fix. Stop. Could you have played it long? Okay, if you could, then you must. Because, look, it went back, and what were you two doing? Dropping off right away. If you could play it long, play it long. But I thought he probably couldn't play it long. Yeah. Because he had somebody right in his face. So because there's someone right in your face, you can't play it long, but you can't throw it there. And can you throw it long? Okay, so get in his face. Play! Fantastic. Okay, stop there. So hopefully you now have a picture of what it's going to look like when we put the ball on our feet. So we're going to sack those four players that came on to help us. You four that came on late, you're off. Let's get inside here, four against four. So four, gr four green and four blue inside here. We need two green out there to take your bib off. Now well, you can leave it on. Leave your bib on. And we need two blue out there. Okay, so the balls will start here. Just take the balls over here, Bo. Let's put the goalkeepers, one down there, and one over there. Now, in this session, I have an assistant coach with me, Bo Brinsko, my assistant at Binghamton, who trains our goalkeepers, has graciously uh, said that he would help us. So he's going to be training the goalkeepers on making decisions off of catching which will come into play later on. But right in here will be the meat of what we're doing. So can you go more near that 
orange bib, and you go more near the orange bib and back up a yard from it. Same with you guys. Okay, so here's what it looks like. We're going to load the exercise that any time the ball gets played into you, you have to play it across. That will give the players time in here to get ready. I'd like you to play it in to the blues. The blue team is trying to play it into greens. Okay, so just roll it into a blue. The green team is trying to play who? The blues, right there. So if you can win the ball off him, win the ball off him, sometimes he gives it to you. If you play it in there, who do you play? Good, play it across. And then the ball comes back in for the blues. Play. So we'll just watch them for a little bit. The ball's away. We need a new one. Just get a new ball. Just get a new ball for the greens. Play. So what I like about this activity is it allows us to teach a lot of different things out of it. But the timing across there that you see from green to green, it allows the players time to organize themselves. I'll eventually need to take that out. Stop. You're confusing me. What way are the blues going? Where are the greens going? What are you trying to do? Just play the target. Can you play one of the targets? See, that would be one right now. That's one nothing for the greens. Play the blues. Blue, look, you're a blue. Play the blue. Can you play it across? Just play it across. To the green. Okay? You now play it across. You give the ball to the greens. Greens will now go up 2 nil. Play. Oh, that's clever feet there, yeah? Stop. Put the ball back there. Could you have played the target? Could you have played him or him? Either one would do. But instead, you took another touch, which you probably needed to take. And on that bouncing ball, could you just play it over your heads? Over the midfield layer into the advantage space for your front runner eventually. So I'll take the ball. Get closer to him, Kevin. I'll take the ball. I'll take the ball. Kevin, you ran by him. Trying to get it. Go on. Go on past him. Go on past him. Play! You can get it, Kevin. So I'll have to clean up that technique right there and play the ball longer. Play! Stop. From the warm-up activity there, did you see the blue player running this way? And as he's getting to the ball, he looks over his shoulders and says, yeah, I'm going to score a goal. I'm going to play it into the target. Okay, so that's what we're looking for, players to just outthink them. Sometimes we get caught in just possessing the ball a little bit just to possess it. We want to get right now vertical possession, playing the ball forward and keeping it. Okay, play it across again. We'll play for about another minute and a half. We want to pull out one more point. Play with the greens. Play. Okay, stop there. As the ball's traveling, put the ball back there. See, we, we need to talk about, whenever we talk about transition and counterattacking, we're moving from one one moment in the game to another. And what happened just then is the blues were trying to set up and the greens weren't stopping them. So move back in here a little bit, greens, where you were. More over here. And see, he's going to try and stretch you that way, just like you were. So when that ball is going to be played from there to there, can the greens, look, drop off a little bit and then start to organize yourselves. Get ready to defend. Then we need to defend to win it. Okay, so we'll see if that happens. I'll take it. You're going to play it across again. Kevin, you just roll the ball in there, Kevin. Play. Get ready, greens. Get ready. Organize who they are. Can you get close now? Can you get close now? So you want to get closer quicker. Play. Just maybe a little bit faster at your feet. Get closer, greens. Get closer now. Better. Stop. Okay, so now I've got their first thoughts being forward. 
Let's take, uh, let's take one of you, just come on off, and bring one blue on to play up front, and one green to play up front. No, you're on. Okay, so I'll take the ball again. So it'll be one against one in that space there, and one against one in this space here. I would make it two against two, but I think this space will be too tight for me to paint a clear picture. So the greens, blues are still going that way, so you're trying to find your front runner. The greens are still going this way, so one of you is off. And we need a green front runner on. Green. Green. The other green. Okay, so here's what it looks like. Get inside that space. We're still going to leave the goalkeeper out. In case you want to take a little bit longer, I'm going to show you a step right before the goalkeepers. You need to mark goal side of him. Always stay goal side. The ball is going to get played into you from a blue look, and then it's going to come right back to a blue. And that gets us the goal. You have to play a blue. You can take more than one touch if you want, but you're going to find another blue player. Okay? Same with the greens. The greens get a point by playing. Where's the green front runner? Go on. Go on the front. Go in there. Right next to him. Because you've got to mark him goal side. So when the greens get it, the greens are trying to play it into their front runner. And then somebody go get it off him. And the blues are defending, just like that. Once that happens, just play the ball back to the blue defender, the blue defender, the blue defender, and now the blue plays. And the front runner does not defend. Play! Ball's away. I've got a new one right here, ready to play. Play! Stop. Okay, so can we put the ball back here? When the ball rolled in, what was your first thought? Thought. Can you play the front runner? Okay, good. I thought you could have played him. You played it short instead. So you guys, keep that space alive. But Look at the midfield. Look, stop. Stop. Coaches, look at the space between the midfield layer and the back layer and our midfield layer and our target. We need to create that space. That way, when the ball does get played in, players can now run in advance to support the ball underneath. Just like that. Okay? So we'll take it back here. Remember, the ball is just turned over. Play. Good ball in. Good. Green ball. Green ball. Play. Play. Come on, the Blues. Can we now win it? We don't have enough pressure on the ball right now. Players just want to attack too much. Need to get them to defend a little bit more. Okay, the ball's away. Green ball. 30 more seconds. We'll see if we can paint one more picture, and then we'll go to the goal. Stop. Could you have anticipated that? Look, let's go back where we were. See, I think one of the points that we lose a little bit when we're talking about transition is there's a moment that you have to take care of so the blues are in the the greens have possession put the ball back there and you were over here now you might be thinking as the defensive midfielder i might cut out that pass just a little bit higher but that side that side but now as you see that ball going to roll in there you should already be starting so now maybe i cut it out and right away i roll it into the front runner first touch okay so put the ball back there i want you to play him but you can't go wider than me play Stop! What kind of hairy high school defending was that? Get back there. I want you to win the ball from him. Do you want him to score a goal off you? Hang, hang on a second. If he does it again, you're going to take his place, okay? All right. You can't go wider than me. You can move right now if you want. Play! Play on! Okay, so we're giving the ball away a little bit now because it's now getting harder. Let's put the goalkeepers now in each goal. And you watch that Bo was playing balls in and the goalkeepers were figuring out who the target was going to be. So we're now going to stretch the field a bit. I'll take the ball. So back in here we'll have two against one, but I still don't want the one to defend much. The, the attacking player. 
Okay, you're not defending. The blue there and the green here, you're not defending. That'll allow this ball to get, stop. That'll allow this ball to get played in here. What we want to see is the greens drop off a little bit to win it and go at them. We want to see the blues when it's down there drop off a little bit to give space to win it. So play the ball to the goalkeeper. Okay, you can play with you two to get it into here to play. Play. We're going to the goal. He's defending you. Play. Stop. Ball's away. I've got a new one. Still want to keep this restriction line in here. Okay, so look. I'm going to let the front runners go wide, but in here we want to try and keep the space tight. Who'd like to defend? Okay, you said it. Play. Can the Blues get ready to win it? Ball's away. Remember, we're going to the goal now. Play. I've got it. It's in already. When they roll out, just roll them over here. We'll start right here with them. Play from there. Play. Good strike. Ball's away. Play. I've got one. When they go out, they start here. You need to get ready. There's too much coming at you. Okay, stop. Greens. What am I going to tell you? Go that way. Keep going that way. Let them have it right there. Because here's what you're thinking. Come at us with the ball. We're going to take it and cut your throat. Now, you're not really going to cut their throat. But if you can win the ball, you go right with that player to that goal. See, a lot of times, if you're going to press up here, would you do it if you're in Maryland in August and it's 110 degrees out? Probably not. You wouldn't be chasing the ball. So we're going to drop off and we're going to counter them. Calculated intercepting of the ball, and then we're going to go at them. So we'll see if the Blues can get through you to get the goal. Play. So when might I use this play? When might I use this counterattacking style to play? Well, right now it's one of the hot topics to play. If you think about it, people are playing 4-5-1 a lot. And it changes into a 4-3-3 when they attack. Good pass. Start from the goalkeeper now. See if you can get out. Greens, drop off. So we see if they're getting better. Drop off, Greens. Good goal. Start from the goalkeeper. Now, who am I watching now? Just watch, watch me here for a moment, coaches. Play. Stop. Who do you think I was looking at? The blue front runner. And here's why. Put the ball back with Kevin out wide. And Tico's on the ball. Give him the ball. See, there's what we call advantage space. And right now, my team that I would be coaching would be the Blues. Because they have the ball. They've attacked from their goalkeeper out. There's no transition in that. That's clearly green ball attacking. What we're going to look at is the moment the Blues can win the ball, can you be ready? Now go on the other shoulder where you were. Go on the other shoulder, right there. Stop there. And the green, come a little bit closer to him. Good. So when the ball got played in here centrally, play it in here centrally, and we're going to try and cut it out, I can't find you in there. Because look, I've got to now get it over his head and down to your feet. Maybe I can find you behind, but the goalkeeper will probably have it. Come on this shoulder. Good. Stay there. So if you just checked in there two yards, check in there two yards, the ball now is going to get played past you and into there. Stop. Would you rather have that picture or you want it there? There? Yeah, right there, because then you're going to probably score the goal. So we're going to teach our front runner that after the ball is played past him, so you guys go in there a little bit where you were, so the goalkeeper threw the ball past you, right? They beat you with the ball. So Kevin's coming forward with the ball. Go on. Stop there. And now you're getting ready. Well, if the ball is one there, get on that shoulder. Good. Now you're going to have the advantage. And what I mean by that is, come on, is right now, stand even, even. Right now, 
Any ball that you play in there is to his advantage. Do you see that? Any ball that you play in there is to his advantage. So don't piss it away and play it there. Balls that you can cut out, you want to play into this space here. Go behind him. Any ball that you play over the top right now, he has the advantage to. And the goalkeeper. Any ball you play underneath is to his advantage. So when we talk about giving the ball away a lot, you've got to look at both players. Where are you moving? Where are you playing it? Okay? So give the ball back to Kevin. If the ball is played in there and you can cut it out, you want to get across the... Good. Okay, so now we can look. You've got to run with the ball a little bit. And then we want you to find somebody. Play! Keep watching the front runners. We're going to look at him. Is he keeping long? Yes. Stop. Could you have played it long? You could have. With that body shape. Go back where you were. I thought you just tried to flick it with the outside of your right foot. So put the ball back there. Could you play it long from where you're fit? Yeah, right. So come back in here. So instead of you trying to just play it out, I know you're right near the box in the goal, but look, the space was tight. If I roll it there, you can play that first time long, yes? Okay, good. You might say, but Paul, the risk is too great. Great. Then we don't want to give it away there. We want to kick it up past those coaches somewhere. Okay? But if I can, and I roll it to you, and you play it long, let me define long for you. It's that guy all the way down there. Okay? So the yellows get a little closer. You come in on the other side of him, and you come in here. I'm gonna, you're over there. Over, over there. Where you were when we said stop. Okay, so roll it there. Play! That's better. Stop! Do you see the advantage of where that ball was going? It was going closer to green. Green was going to have the advantage. Now that's going to change based on movement of players and athleticism. If the green player is more athletic than the blues over space, he'll catch him. So come back here again. We want you to play it short of the blue. That'll be a help. Just play it short of him. See how the green's behind him? Okay, come back in here quickly. And the greens, if you win it, again, you'll come right at the goal. Back up. Yeah, into the front runner. Okay? Come back here. Play it to him. Get ready to play. Play. A little better. See how the green stepped in front? Not bad. Go again from the goalkeeper. From the goalkeeper. Good greens. Get ready. Okay, so we're going to watch the green front runner now. Stop! the ball back with the goalkeeper. Put the blue player in the back, back where you were. The blue player, back where you were. That's not where you were. You were on the other side of him. You stepped in to support the ball. No, you stay there. You stay there. What's your name? What is it? Vince, Vince, you were in front. You wanted to get it off of him, right? Okay, so when the ball turned over, did you look here? No. We want to teach our goalkeepers to look long because he wasn't going to be an option. Why? Because he's offsides. But he's an option. Okay, so we're going to look long. Instead of rolling it there to keep possession, you're going to catch it and you're going to find one of the targets. You're going to look at, look, look at him and see him. Kevin, go back where you were to get it. Look at Kevin. Stop there. Can you see him? Look at Kevin. And can you see him? No. Look here. And now can you see players underneath? Yeah, good. So that's what we're going to look at. I'll take the ball. Get ready to play. The Blues, you can move around where you'd like to be. You get back here. You stay there. Get ready to play. Off the goalkeeper. Play. Stop. You didn't look long. Right? I watch your eyes. You didn't look long. If you look long, you might, he might be on. Let's go again. And again... It's just because we've taught our players to keep possession so much 
that they always want to play a safe pass. That's why I was uh, listening to uh, one of the lecturers today. We were talking about confidence. I can't get on them when we lose the ball. You're going to lose the ball counterattacking. Why? The ball is played over a longer distance. It's harder. If I want to hit that coach that's, uh, or the security guy that's walking back there from here, I might not be able to do it. But if I walk up next to him with tiny little touches, I probably can hit him. So from there, look long. It'll also move backs. Play. Look long. Now find someone. Yeah, see how you came off him? Good. Play on. Stop. Ah, you had him. Did you see it? Oh, he wasn't even going to get a sniff. He wasn't going to get a sniff of that ball. Could he have played you? And what would you have done with it? Just turned and smashed it in the back of the net. Or you had a player running centrally of him. Look, when we talk about counterattack, right now Green is in big trouble because you're on the wrong shoulder of him and you're in behind them. So the ball rolls into you. Stay where you are. Stop. And as that ball travels there, look, you're on the wrong shoulder. So you can now go in there. You can now get behind them. Green is in big trouble from right here. But what did we do? We kept it, and that allowed the greens to get on the other side. Come here. Come back. So instead of me playing there, if I play you, maybe we get out, maybe we don't. So we're going to see a tackle here. just want you to walk with the ball a little bit that way. And you take it off him. Take it off him. Play! Good try. Good. Good. Good try. And again, we're just talking about that advantage space. Maybe now it's a little clear. Ooh, that's a good save. Start with your hands, goalkeeper. Play. Good advantage space there. You could see it. Stop. Where did you look first? Yeah. When you looked first, there, let's look. When you look there, it gives them time to get back. Look at the midfield layer. All the blue has to do now is just get it behind those players. So we want to get a habit of looking long first and finding underneath. I'll take it again. Get ready to play. Get closer. Play. Balls away. Starts with blue. Play. Balls away. Green ball. Green ball. Okay, stay there. Stop there. Let's just talk about this. Let's talk about the whistle real quick. Because it also can be an attacking transition. What does the whistle mean? You hear it in the game. What does it mean? A foul. He said playing, not playing. You said a foul. What does it mean? Stop or go? Stop. You sure? Okay, come on. And kick off for the blue. Kick off for the blue. Huh? What do you mean both? You said it with conviction. It means stop. If you coach with a whistle, be careful. You might be creating a bad habit. Because if I coach with a whistle, I'll show you what I mean. Play, Kevin. Just play. Same game we've been playing. Play. There's that thought again of just possession. I like this guy. He likes to go forward. Play from there. Play. Stop. Okay, so what did the players just do when I blew this whistle? They stopped playing and looked at who? The coach. If you have advanced, very high-level players, yeah, they can differentiate. But the whistle in the game means go. And here's what I mean. I'll take it. So we've just had a foul right here on the greens against the blues. So you're on the ball, and you go recklessly in, and there's a foul. Immediately, could you find blue? Because the greens might get caught sleeping off of a foul. So right in here could be a one way to have transition in trying to teach. Same thing could happen off a set piece that's delivered to the goalkeeper. I play from here, I deliver it in, and then we attack. So, if it is a foul, we want to teach our players to play right away. So, there's been a foul committed. It is blue ball. Play. 
Can the Greens get ready to win it? See, they're not ready to win it right now. And when you have a player with pace, just let him run. Great try. Play on. Good book. Stop. Stop there. Okay, so just look at the shape of the blues. Go back a little bit. Stay there. Can you bump over a little bit more? No, 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 stay there. I can't tell the, we can't tell the team we're playing. Look, we can't tell the team we're playing green where to go. If you can, get them on your schedule all the time. So the front runner is going to stay there. You're going to defend a little bit more because you might play him. Good. But you're going to still help there. Good. Now we look a little bit ready. Look, the blue shape looked pretty good to cut it out to do that right away. So we're going to have a moment now of defending the moment we're going to win it. And then that's going to start our attack. Once we play it into you right now, the problem we need to fix is what then happens. We can't let the attack stall. So when it gets to you, it can come back. You can run with it, but it has to keep going that way. See how I'm coming back a little bit with it? Okay, so we'll see it. Back up a little bit. I want you to walk with the ball that way a little bit. Walk with it that way. You intercept the ball. Play! Ball's away. Just got to clean up your touch. Play. Green ball. Green ball. That would be cheating. Play. So we'll now use the full width of the field, guys. You're allowed to go all the way out wide. Like that. Good try. Stop! Come on. Just look along. He was on. Were you ready? Yellows. Go that way. The green bibs. Come on. Come on. Come on. And you get on the other side of the greens. No, no, no. The greens stay there now. And the guy you throw it to, don't beat all of them. Get this side of him. Could you throw it long? If you throw it long, green's in trouble. I promise you. I wouldn't teach you wrong. Get ready. Play! Just got to clean up his touch a little bit, right? Green ball, play. Drop in, blues. Get ready to defend. Ball's away. Stop. It's a blue ball. Play from there. Drop in, greens. Get ready, front runner. Play. Good try. Yeah, that's better. That's better from the goalkeeper. Good try. Start from the blue. Remember, full width now. The cones will be out. Play. Get ready, greens. Balls away, green, green. Stop. Could you have hammered it from outside the bibs? It's good that you go, but you could have hammered it. Take the shot when you have it. So put the ball back here. Roll back out where you were when the ball comes forward. I just want to show the coaches a picture to look at. Come on. I'll take the ball. You stay there. Go higher where you were. So as it turns over here with loss of possession, the blues come higher. The blue midfield players come higher. This way. Walk out. Stay there. We've now exposed some space, right? What's happened is now as you've run wide, the, the defender has to make a decision. Stop. And from the warm-up, you can see a ball going into the target, and then look, it's getting laid back in. Now what we want you to do with it is run right at the goal. Okay? So, Kevin, no, no, no. Kevin, you're going to go wider just in case that player wants to tuck in. So, off of your touch, all the players are live. You can't run until you get a touch. You're going to get on the other side of him right now. Stop right there. Get ready to play. Play! Play! Good strike. Fantastic. Starts with the goalkeeper. Greens, drop off. Greens, drop off. Drop into your own half. Your own half. Drop in, greens.
Good try. Get ready, Blues. Needed to do it quicker. It was a good thought, just needed to be quicker. Good try. Get ready, Blues. Good. Ball probably could have come down to the midfield layer. Good goal. Okay, so stop there for a minute. We'll let you guys rest a little bit. Just pick up the orange bibs and walk them off here. You can get a little rest. We can bring on a couple of new players so you can change out with anybody you'd like, a blue and a green. So here's what we'd like to show you now. I'm going to use a coaching methodology that we call coaching in the game. There's two different schools of thought. There's coaching in the game and there's coaching from the game. Coaching from the game for me is more about when you just roll the balls out kind of and coach what you see. I have an actual topic that I'm trying to accomplish. Transition, the moment that we win the ball, can we counterattack? So the first piece of the counterattack is you're defending. Organizing your team to win the ball back. That is a calculated area on how you want to get it back. They're just not running around trying to win it. Pressing. If I want to get a true counterattack, it's not going to come off of when we win it inside their 18. It's going to come off of when we dropped in and chose we're going to win it in this space and as soon as we win it, we're then going to do what? We're going to try and go forward with the ball by passing or dribbling or even shooting, which we haven't seen yet because at midfield right here, I think that they could do the goalkeeper over their head. So we might see that in this game now as well. But I'm going to just choose moments to try and fix the problems that we see. Remember, that's coaching. Fixing the problem quicker than they'll fix it on their own. We have this new philosophy, and I shouldn't say new when I was back in uh, undergrad, in fact, my captain, who I played with, Johnny Reese, is here somewhere in the crowd. He uh, was talking to me this morning. I hadn't seen him in years, maybe 10 or 15. And I put that warm-up piece in, that team handball. It's called Gator Ball. Rocky Harmon, who we both played for at West Virginia, showed us that game. And then I just put a little twist on it to run with the ball, to let it bounce. So I think you're always taking ideas and trying to make them fit who you are as a coach and trying to see it in a different light. So let's get our shape again. Push up. You want to play someplace new? I'm okay with that right now. Now, as you're going to let your team play, one of the things that you might say is, okay, you now have no restrictions. You can go where you'd like. Do I really want them to go where they'd like? Because when the goalkeeper gets the ball... Am I really going to want that goalkeeper to put the ball at his feet and run it the length of the pitch? No. I want them to take what we've just been working on, and I want the front runner to try and stay long. I want the back players to try to defend and get ready. So we're going to talk about blending moments of the game. Defending with winning it. Okay? So I'm going to watch. Who'd like to attack? Blue. Okay, I'll take the blues attacking play. So the greens are getting ready. Balls away. Blue. Play. Stop. Did you, did you just see that subtle look? The ball was out. That's brilliant, by the way. Let me see it. So the ball was out of bounds, and before he put it in, he looked, and he thought, no, nah, I can't play it there. But you looked long right away, right off of here. Okay, play. Greens are getting ready. Great, fantastic. Great save, goalkeeper. Starts with the goalkeeper. Play. So what are they playing? Extra midfielder. Good. Good try. So now as I'm using this coaching in the game, keep playing, methodology, a way that we do it. I need to be looking for something. That's what makes this methodology difficult. 
I need to be looking for the moment to teach. And that moment's going to come off the moment we win it. Like, that's a good decision. So we're going to talk right now. We're going to watch them. We're going to organize them. We're going to look at the length that they're playing in, the blues, the greens. Oh, that's a clever try. Great save. Good try. Okay, did you notice that the green, when they were defending, before he got the ball right there, before the ball was shot, the green player, instead of defending, they looked long. But we're defending, so we must win the ball first. Okay, drop off greens to get the ball to play out. Play. Blue team's getting ready. Stop. Just from a kind of a yes, Paul, or a, a, of course, Put the ball back there. Has he not be l been lighting us up today? Has Kevin been lighting us up on the flank? Has he been a joy to watch for the group over there? Well, we need to freaking stop. Yeah! We need to stop him. And here's a good example of how we don't want him to get on the ball. So we're going to drop. Look, blues drop off except the front runner. You stay high. We're going to get back in here. Look, and if he gets it, he's going to get it in front of us. Because then when we win it, what way are we facing? That way. If he gets it in there, and now when I'm chasing him, I might just have to kick it out of bounds. A corner, a throw in. I might be able to play the goalkeeper to play it long. But now look, can you see a clearer picture now that now just let him have it in there? You can go ahead and throw it here if you'd like. Or you can play, or you can play who you'd like. That's an option though. Play. See the decision forward, but the attack stop. The attack stalled. Do you see it? Look at how many blues now we're, we're there. Stay there. One, two, three blues. But look at the greens. Set up to defend. Set up to defend. Set up. Set up. Set up. So once we win it, can we not let them set up? Okay. So I'll take the ball. Get ready. Drop off. Drop off. Play. Stop. Could you have hammered that first touch? Yeah. Do you know why? Look where the goalkeeper is. Look where the goalkeeper is. The ball was rolling on your right foot. You could have bent it into that near post. Just like Jeff Tipping's session last night. So roll back here. But instead, we wanted to keep it. Come back this way. You go out wider. You come back this way. You're on this, you're on this shoulder. Come on. We're going to roll it past you. And that's a ball that, look, just drifts away from everyone. No one really in clear possession. And as that ball rolls across there, you're going to strike it first time. Okay? So come back in here. Get ready to play. Once the ball leaves my foot, everyone's live. You guys come in here. You come in here too. Because you are facing that way. You're going to strike it with the inside. Play! Strike. That's better. Just like... How about the coaching? Come on. Little ripple for the goal. Yeah? Stop. You got to appreciate good soccer. That was a fantastic goal. But the moment he chose before that was what? Possession, right? He didn't want to penetrate with the ball. He wanted to just keep it. So we'll put him back on the ball again. We'll make it a little more difficult. Yeah. And here's how, when I recreate it, I let them play after the ball leaves my foot. Come back in again. So that might give him a little more time on the ball. Now I'm going to just say play. Get ready to play. And so see how they're already starting to get live. If I want to slow him down to give him more time on the ball, I might just that you start there. Good. But I don't want to get too far away from the picture that's created. Don't go in there. Play. Careful. Should have given him the ripple the first time. Play. Ball's down. Green ball. Play. Good. If it's not on forward, you'll have to play back. Stop. Okay, so look. Stay there. Right now, though, the counter wasn't on. The Greens did too good of a job to get back and organize. So now, instead of always going forward off of winning it, give the ball back to the Blues. 
who can you play to that will definitely keep possession of the ball? Yeah, him or even the goalkeeper. Okay, so play it here. And now we've kept the ball. Play. And now we're going to look at the greens getting ready to win it. Dropping in, greens. Good. Get ready, greens. Good. Good try. That's a little bit better. Good try. I've got one. I've got one. Play. Okay, stop there. I'm going to now present another problem for us. I'm going to take you off. You've been sacked, red carded. And I'm going to move Kevin up front. We're now going to play. Now, this is another way that you're going to have some transition, right? A lot of times you'll see Chelsea go down a player and play better. So now we're going to have to be a little bit more collective defending, and our counter is going to have to now be a little bit sharper. We're going to have to play it into feet maybe a little bit more unless the blues have it for a little bit longer and they can try and stretch us out there so the blues keep it blues keep it play we'll look at now playing down a player stop Kevin where are you going yeah we don't need your help there we're gonna win the ball then play you and you're gonna get the winning goal so right now the game is tied 1-1 our hero just got sent off from his celebration for the second yellow. Okay, so I'll take it. I want you to stay long again. Play. You now get ready. Stay in there. Get ready. Come on, the greens. Get ready to win it. You just get ready. You go where you can get it. Balls away. Green. Play. Good tackle. It's two to one. Start from there. Play. Stop. What happened to my blue front runner? See where he's come. The blue front runner. Go that way. Keep going another yard. Stop there. You're in offside space now, right? Stay there. Will the greens readjust to him? Or will you stay at halfway? See, if you stay at halfway, just get on the halfway line. And now all the blues have to do is play it past us. And now they're in. Foot race forward. So you want to try and keep your length of your players at least one. Now he's getting ready. You might say, but Paul, he's being lazy. He's not defending. No, he's getting ready because that block of eight is going to win the ball, or that block of nine is going to win the ball. Okay, so I'll take it. Get ready, Blues. Play. Good try. Good, Greens. Come on, let's get ready, Greens. Come on. Careful we don't fall there. Goal. Careful we don't fall there. Start with the goalkeeper. Play. You know, I should have probably chose the Blues. They were winning the game pretty handedly earlier. Stop. Okay, so from the warm-up again, let's go back here. And the Blues, you are in here even. Come back here quickly. Kevin, I want you to make that same run that you did. See, the ball was given away... And then it came back to us. So we give the ball away, and then you give it back to me. And now counter now is on off the counter. So you come again. And now as I'm past you, the space now to play. Come on in. And follow him like you did. Follow him like you did is in there for you, where you were. Go on higher. Go on higher. And can you play it in there to get us the goal? 
So we're going to play it off of you like it happened. Roll it in there. Play it back to him. Run with the ball like you did. Stop. That's the ball we're going to want. Okay, so come back. Come back. So we're going to get this counter off the counter. It happens all the time. The ball was there. You've given it back to me, and now we're off. And you're going to let him run by you. Okay, so play it off of him. Play it here. Run past him. Stop. You're going to run this way like you did in the game. You can't fix the problem now. Come back. The Blues, you stay where you were because that was the space. Kevin came in. He brought you with him. That space was open. Blues, walk this way. Blues, walk that way. Look, you were in possession for a moment. Play! So we see a good change of the point of attack. We need to get a goal there. Another change of, change of possession. Play from the goalkeeper. Bo. Oh, never mind. Never mind. Play. A couple more minutes. Play. Good try. Stop. You're getting better. You looked long. And then you thought, he's tying his shoe. I can't play him. Right. But you at least looked long. Okay? Play from there. Play. Kevin, stay on sides. Good try. Okay, stop there. Let's take another blue off, and now we'd play nine against nine field players. So you're off. Now the space will be a little bit more. We'll see a little bit more transition. We'll have to cover a little bit more ground. Play from there. Play. Okay, Kevin, you get ready. You get ready. Ooh, that was very clever. Start from the goalkeeper. Very good feet, front runner. Play. Remember, transition of any kind, attacking to defending or defending to attacking, if you're doing that one moment only, you have to blend the other two. So I'm working on defending now to winning it. If my team doesn't defend very well, we'll never win the ball. Play. Drop off, Blues. Drop off, Blues. Drop off, Blues. Stop. Drop off. Let the front runner stay there. If you go to try and win it there and you don't, they're going to get in. Just let, that's why we moved Kevin. Play from there. Play from there. Play. Stop. You saw it too late, but you did see it. It's just a little bit too late. So go back on the ball there. And again, here's another change the point of attack off the counter. So Green had it, and then they give it to the Blues. Go back where you were. Roll back in where you were. Come back here where you were. Come back here where you were. You come back here where you were. The back, you stay there. You two get closer. You two, no, you two right there, get closer. The forward, come this way a little bit. See, so you engage him there. Now when we run by him, run by him. Walk by him. Good. Stop there. Now, if you go that way a little bit, you're going to drag that left back with you. And now this space is on. Don't run it all the way across. Okay? So that's the ball we're going to play. You'll be able to play live once you get past that player. So go on the other side of him. Walk past him. Walk past him. Get ready to play. Play! Better ball than we're in. That ball probably gets played with the outside of your right foot. Good try. Go on, Malcolm. Go on. Go on. Go on. Yes, like that. Good try. We just broke down technically. Get ready, Greens. Must close the shooter. Play. Three minutes left in the game. Stop. Who did you try to play? 
Yeah, good. You just didn't want to hit that ceiling, right? Well, that won't be there when we're playing in the real game. Okay, so we've now got their mindset to try and do the right things. We are getting better. Let's see if we can execute a little bit cleaner to show some better pictures. Play there. Play. So the, the space that I would choose to run this session in would probably be a space from penalty box to penalty box at least. If I'm using more, good, good try. If I'm using more numbers, I probably would make the space even bigger. Maybe end line to end line on a 110 to 120 yard field. But again, the point is that we must win the ball. See, we weren't organized defending there. We weren't ready to win it. Play, drop off greens, drop off greens. See, the longest pass is usually the hardest as well. Oh, that was clever. Good try. Play. Look long. Stop. You look long early. See, he was on early. Play. We got to get him a little bit better. Wasn't looking long right away. Yes, fantastic goalkeeper. Great try. Play. Greens, drop off. Get ready. Kevin, you stay on sides. Can you run with it? Good. Good try. Now we're getting somewhere. That's a fantastic goal. Play. Got about a minute left in the game. So now you can see, coaches, that just that little piece of information that we've tried to drive home all session. Drop off green. Stop. Drop in more. See, you don't want them to get behind you. Let Kevin do the work there. Play from back here with the goalkeeper. Play from back here. From the goalkeeper. Back here. Blue ball. Play. What we've tried to do in this hour, hour and 15 play session is try to get them to think about the moment that we lose it. And that starts when they have it. Don't let the Blues set up. Stop. Look at what just happened. The Blues, are you guys comfortable now? The blue team. Yeah, you're ready to take it from them. Because you play the ball there and we don't get the chance at goal. Okay, now the last little piece I want to show you is blending the other side of the ball in an opposite session a week from now. So I've been talking right now all about the moment that we win it. Okay, so we're just going to watch you play, play, play. So now we're telling Kevin all day to get ready because the greens have it. Green goalkeeper with the ball. Play. So now we're talking about that blue front runner getting ready. Careful. Play. Okay, stop there. You're going to take that shot again. So put the ball in your hands. Put the ball in your hands. The blue hands. Okay, so just watch. Here's the moments that we're talking about. We really need to get away from running sessions, training sessions that only have one moment. I'm working with the blue attacking that way. Go over there. Blue is in clear possession of this ball. And if green win it, they're going to counter through here, which was my topic for today. And look where the blue's shape is. Are you ready to deal with them when... You lose it. You are. We'll give it to him. Stay there. Are you ready? You are. You're crazy. I've played against him twice this year. I was panicked when the bus pulled up. You're okay right there. You don't want to be right here. Yeah, well, come on over here. Give the ball back to Blue. And here's the part I want to make. When your team is in clear possession, you can still take care of players and I can still, if you turn, put the ball at your feet, if, face that way. If you turn out like you need help, turn out like you need help, spin out, you can still drop off his shoulder and help him to keep possession. But if we lose it, I'm going to deal with him because if I don't, they're gonna be in, we're going to be in trouble. Okay, so that's what I want to show you, how you've got to try and take your sessions one step further. We need to talk more about blending moments. My focus for the whole day has been the moment we win it. And it came in from the defending shape. Look at the greens. If my topic was the other side of the ball, I might talk about getting ready if we do lose it. So attacking from transition, from attacking to the moment we've lost it. 
Okay, so we'll just watch them for one minute. We'll see if now the game gets a little bit. Start from a kickoff. Start from a kickoff. Kick the ball off. We're going to now play for uh, drinks over here at the water bucket. So it'll be a green kickoff. No, blues can kick it off. Get ready. You're off sides. Get on this side. We'll let you finish on the game. Blues are off sides. What's your first thought? Can you do him? No. Okay. You think he's too good. Okay. Play. Play. So now we're watching to see if what we've been talking about for a little while has worked. Do they drop off? Do they get ready for the moment they win it? Do they keep their attack going once they have won it? What is the shape of the group? What's the shape of the individual player? Could that ball have gone into the front runner? So those are all the things we're looking at right now. So we've won it. Can you play it forward? Better. Can the greens get ready now? Referees checked his watch. Oh, that's a good try. He didn't see Kevin, but you did. Good, go on. Foul. Blue ball, play. You're not looking. You Got to look. They weren't ready. Play. Now you've let them get ready. Great ball. Fantastic. Oh, Kevin, can you play him? Good. Can we get the goal? You've let the Blues defend. Now they're ready, and now they're going to organize. Great goal. Fantastic. Okay, just come on in. Come on in. On behalf of the NSCAA, the Baltimore area, the Baltimore Bays, and UMBC and Towson players, we'd like to thank you for coming. Hope you enjoy the rest of your convention. Thank you very much. Thanks, guys.